Yes, people, I'm Srini and you are watching MTAC TV. We are back again. But Adi, what are we back with? Well, we're back with the finished sentence. You guys loved it. We loved your response to the last video. And so we're back for a Euros edition. Keep the kids, by the way, guys. And make sure you leave a like before we get into it. Finish the sentence. Rules are pretty simple. I will ask Srini a question like, what is the most goated fan channel on YouTube? And Srini will say MTAG TV. And yeah, let's get straight into it. All right, Adi, finish the sentence. The one young bowler who I'm looking forward to watching is? Um, I'm going to say Pau Torres. And no, it's not because I'm wearing a Spain jersey. So in the comments, yeah. hush. But, you know, <laughs> he's been such a highly covered centre-back. He's been linked to Manchester United. Speaking of United, they put, he put an amazing performance in the Europa League final against them. So his stock has obviously yeah. risen. And I think a big point is that Ramos isn't at uh, this major tournament. So it's time for him to step up. And I think he's going to do a bit. So that's my pick. Srini, you? Um, yeah, man, I think that's a great shout. He was amazing in the final. And man, United, man, you guys are such an L, honestly. But uh, I'm stuck between either Jude Bellingham or Ryan Gravenberg. But I'll go for Ryan Gravenberg. Admittedly, I haven't seen enough of him. But he is super, super hyped. He's brilliant in that in that midfield roll-ups. I've heard that he's kind of like similar to Pogba, so that's very exciting. And at such a young age, he's linked to the likes of Barcelona. He's linked to all of the European elite. So yeah, I think Ryan Gravenberg, you know, as well as someone like Cooper Miniers as well in that midfield, just this new generation of Dutch ballers, man. I mean, you you can't go wrong with it. So yeah, Ryan Gravenberg. Is back. Okay, next question, Srini. The best looking kit at the Euros will be. I'm gonna go for Sweden, man. Yeah, I know that's a bit of a hipster pick. Everyone would like for me to go for Portugal or for Germany away kit as well, which is so so fire. But yeah, I think the Sweden home and away kits are so good. The away kit especially is very, very different. And yeah, man, I mean I'm not gonna do a kit analysis here, but what I will say is that I wanna see it on the likes of Kulichevsky and even Seb Larson, who's just such a Prem underrated legend, man. So yeah. Uh, the Sweden ones are super fly, so yeah, that's my pick. You? A good pick. Uh, shame we won't see Zlatan in the kit. But for me, I'm probably going to go for a hipster pick as well. Finland home and away, I can't make my mind up about those two. Absolutely quality kits. Very minimalistic, which is how I like it. And you'll know that I like minimalistic kits because of how I slaughtered the Arsenal Bruce Banana kit. In the last finished sentence, you can find that somewhere here. Make sure you check it out. Uh, shout out to Germany's away kit, which is I'm going to be wearing that throughout the Euros, so look out for our videos there. But yeah, Finland, home and wave. Yeah, for sure. And shout out to this kid as well, man. I mean, I know it's not the Euros. And look at our kids in general, man. They're so, so Lippy. fire. I don't think you can beat international kids in general. So yeah, that's our picks. But guys, let us know in the comments below. What's your pick? Are you going hipster like us? Or are you going for the, for the bigger nations? Alright, Adi. This one's a tough one. The early group stage exit from the Euros is going to be... Damn, that is tough. Um, I'm going to go for Croatia not making it out of the group. And I'm going to say Scotland going to put them to second place. I know third place will probably go through in certain situations, but that's, a, that's not going to be Croatia. And yeah, I don't think they, their squad is aging for me. And I don't think they're going to do it. <laughs> and Scotty McTominay and, and my boy Robo, they're going to come in clutch. So, watch out for Scotland. Srini, you. <laughs> I knew you gone for that just to back your boy Robo. <laughs> Me personally, again, I know the whole third place thing is a bit crazy, but if I had to go for someone, I'd go for Germany again, just like the World Cup. That group is way, way too difficult. And if they don't qualify from that, I know the best third place group qualifies from uh, from their group, but just to, just to see something mad at the Euros, I'd love to see that because they have France in their group. They have Portugal in their group, who to me are the two main favourites. And Hungary as well are not an easy team because they have the likes of Dominic Soboslai, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. They have Gulashi as well, who's their shot stopper. So they have a lot of young ballers coming through and as, as well as experienced judges as well. So yeah, man, I don't think it's gonna be I don't think it's gonna be easy. So yeah, I think it's gonna be the Germans and Tony Fuss's free kick won't be enough this time around. So yeah. Don't do. All right, Trini, finish the sentence. The Golden Boot winner at the Euro 2020 will be. That's a that's such a tough one, man. I'm stuck between two, but uh, yeah, I'll probably go for Harry Kane. I'm stuck between two. I'm, I'm even stuck between Lukaku because he has an easy group, but Harry Kane. 
he did it at the World Cup as well. He's going to be taking pens as well, which is a very important point. And everything is going to go through him. In his group, he has uh, Croatia and two other teams that aren't the Scotland best. I'm going to check it out. He has Czech Republic and Scotland. Sorry. Yeah. So I think he's going to bang uh, in front of your beloved Robo as well in Scotty McSauce. And uh, yeah, I think Harry Kane is just so clutch, man. And because Lewandowski isn't in the best international team out there. It's it's got to be Harry Kane because England are going to go fast. So yeah, Harry Kane. You? Well, very good points. Uh, my pick is has to be Lukaku. He's got first of all, he's got an easy group to start off with. I think it's Finland, Denmark, and Russia. So he's going to do bits there. Even if he doesn't score in the knockouts, I think he's going to bang at least like four five goals. He's coming off an excellent, excellent club campaign with Inter. So he's definitely one of the most informed players going into the tournament. And uh, yeah, I think he's going to do bits for me. So that's my pick. Now that's a great shout, and guys, let us know as well because we didn't go for like an Mbappe or someone like that because he's in such a tough group. Yeah. Same with Lewandowski as well. But if you want to, let us know in the comments below. Do you have a surprise pick? Are you gonna go Solopsai or something like that? I can't pronounce his name even now. But anyway, let us know in the comments below. All right, Adi, finish the sentence. For the goal that wins the Euros, a link up the world has to see is. Jesus, what a question! Um, J Ling's baby, the one and only <laughs> J Ling's, and I'm not going to say Rashford. I'll I'll go for Rice because they've had some absolutely banging celebrations of West Ham. If you missed out on that, just go and check it out. And hopefully they can recreate that. Hopefully England, you know, bring it home. And imagine J Ling scoring an absolute world in the final, and Declan Rice pretending to play the drums. Don't take the L again. Yeah, key, but yeah, that's my pick for me. Good question, Shini. What's your pick? That's a great shout, man. I really like that friendship. It's really, it's really wholesome. But I'm gonna go the exact opposite direction, and I'm going for France and Benzema and Giroud to link up to oh. score the goal that wins the Euros. Okay. There's beef there. Benzema said that you know Giroud's a uh, go kart and all of that stuff. I don't, I don't agree with that. Fair enough. So I'd like Benz and Giroud to link up, and for Benz to make one of these. Drip videos again, just so that they actually become friends again, and so that's a happy ending. So yeah, Benz and Giroud will link up and win the Euros for France. So yeah. All right, Adi, this is the biggest one, and guys, this is actually the biggest one. The winner of Euro 2020 is. Oh, okay, that is the biggest one. Um, I'm gonna, you know, I want to see England, and I'm secretly supporting them because all of they're all our homegrown little boys. But yeah. me, Portugal, are absolutely clear, and my reasons for that is, you know, it, somehow they're the defending champions. I don't think they deserve to win the Euro 2016. Uh, somehow they did it, but this team compared to that is is miles ahead. Defensively, they are stacked. Ruben Dias, Cancelo, spoiled for choice. Uh, midfield, you know, Moutinho, Neves, and attack. Don't even get me started, man. Between Jota, Bernardo Silva, and the main man, Cristiano. I don't think there's any looking past them, so that's my pick. Three. And you, you, you talked about Moutinho and Neves. I mean, there's Bruno Fernandez as well that we didn't talk about. There's Renato Sanchez has won the league. How did I forget it? Lille. There's so many bowlers in that team. They even have someone like Rafael Guerrero. They can take Ricardo Pereira. Yeah. I mean, this spoiled for choice for you. They have João Felix as well. Diego Jota. Pedro Neto is not going to be fit, but they have so many good players. So Portugal is my pick as well, and. It's kind of they're kind of the team I want to watch and the most because they have such a stacked squad. And funnily enough, like the last Euros, the finalists of the Euros were Portugal and France. They are the two main contenders. So I'd go for Portugal, but I'm split between Portugal and France. And just touching on France, I mean, Didier Deschamps has managed to take a team full of ballers and make sure they play a very efficient, effective style of play, which is why it's a little boring. But look at that backline: Rafael Varane, Presnel Kimpembe. Benjamin Pavard, Luka Hernandez in midfield. You have Pogba and Kante linking up again. Up front, you have Kylian Mbappe, and you didn't have Karim Benzema, and then you just have him just because he is just the most incredible striker. I mean, you're spoiled for choice. So yeah, man, I think those two teams are the standouts. So it's between them for me. But I want Portugal to secretly win because Ruben Dias should win the Ballon d'Or. So that's my pick. But guys, again, let us know who you think will win the Euros. Do you think it's it's going to be Portugal, France? Are you going for Ukraine just because you're a hipster? Let us know in the comments below. And also quickly, guys, United fans watching this, you can. You're, I'm giving you permission to kill me in the comments for forgetting Bruno Fernandez's name <laughs> while mentioning Portugal. I can't believe that, but 
it's okay he's going to win the, the euro spot too so he'll make it up yeah and guys i mentioned ukraine because obviously uh, i mentioned i i have forgot to mention sweden sorry because obviously your favorite player victor lindelof is going to start <laughs> so do you think he's a shout for the ballon d'or let us know in the comments below Alright Trini, that's the end of the video but I still have one last finished sentence for you. What should the viewers watching this do right now? They should like, they should share, they should subscribe, they should comment. Do all of that because we have so much Euros related content coming out for you. We're so gas for Euros. So yeah guys, this is the place to be. MTAC TV for life. So yeah, let's go.